we are here tonight the most accurate driver rating scale on the internet for nascar is right here the dega boys live here on youtube uh i think ryan blaney gets an a for me i just i like the way he finished the year with the championship and i'm very jealous of that beard that he has i think it's fantastic <laughs> and don't ever shave that off that it, that's the reason you won ryan blaney <laughs> there you have it there's a lot of moms out there who are really happy you just said that <laughs> <laughs> uh kyle larson uh definitely the best the best second place driver ever no doubt not benny hamlin all Christopher Bell. I give him <laughs> a B. You know, I mean, I credit him. He tried really, really hard. Uh, he gave it his all. And, you know, Christopher Bell just, he seems like that guy that he's always, he's like that kid in that you went to school with that like always showed up with a stain on his shirt. Like he always has a stain on his t shirt. And you never know what it is, but I, I give him I give him a B because I give Christopher Bell a lot of credit because I, mean, I would pat him on his head if I could because he tried really hard. Uh, just I mean I, I kind of like some of the things that Dallas said there. Yeah, his first year with the new team. I'll give him I'll get I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll give him a B plus. Uh, Ty, Tyler Reddick's just one. Of, I mean I'm not taking shots at him, but Tyler Reddick's like one of those drivers that I just always forget about. Like I completely always forget that he's a NASCAR driver. Like I can name like 42 drivers and before I get to Tyler Reddick, and not, nothing against him, I just forget about him all the time. B plus. Really glad my wife's not listening right now. She'd probably kill you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to give Chastain a B minus because I'm I'm a little disappointed in Ross Chastain this year. Look. Ross, Ross Chastain's exciting, and he, he's fun for me uh, to watch. Like as a casual, just a casual NASCAR fan, I, people like Ross Chastain is like like what brings my attention like in to the sport. And I feel like this year, like he didn't take like he didn't take like hardly as many risks this year. I'm, uh, did NASCAR hold a gun to his head and say you better not do any of that crap again? I mean, pretty much. Uh, what? Uh, I, I I don't know. They just completely neutered this guy. I'm going to give him a B strictly because he won the regular season. His playoff stretch was the absolute biggest choke we've ever seen in sports history. I'm going to say that over the Super Bowl dub that Patriots had. This is an absolute just comedy show that the 19 had throughout the playoff run. One top five. One top five. That is embarrassing. If I am Joe Gibbs racing, I am firing everybody on that team, and I'm starting over. What a shame. A damn shame that that 19 team did not make it to the Final Four. My good Lord. Holy cow. How could you choke that bad? Honestly. Honestly, I feel like you could take a group of third graders out there to put in some fuel calculations or something, do better than what his team did. That's embarrassing. I'm sorry, but that was embarrassing. Embarrassing. One top five. Never forget that. One top five for the 19 team. And I'm being nice giving him a B, too. Only because he won this regular season championship. That's it. I'd give him a C plus if I could. That's you it. Can. You could actually. <laughs> no, I can't because he won the season for season championship, regular season. Joey Logano should have had four four wins. It's Joey freaking Logano, one win. He's lucky to even get a C. Um, uh, I've been like, I was all day. I was thinking of what I was gonna grade Joey Logano, and then I went oh, to the store. Time with that. <laughs> and I I went to the store and I walked past the milk section. And what do I see on the milk cartons? A picture of Joey Logano. Like, they've been looking for this guy all season, NASCAR has. <laughs> Joey Logano decided not to show up to the NASCAR season. I gave him a D. Just, just out of, like, I'm bored talking about it. <laughs> wait, wait. Can I just say the most memorable moment of 2023 with Joey Logano was in he, when he wrecked into Pecon Pocono Turn 1 and he was screaming at the track officials? Yes. That's all they think. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's, that's, all that's all you remember. That's all you remember. I think my favorite Joey Logano moment of 2023 was listening to Jared Grado. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. That was fantastic. <laughs>
I'm going to give him a, just a solid B here, and it's because of damn Rodney Childers. Enough said. Rodney Childers is an L. That's the reason why Kevin Harvick had such a bad season. I don't even feel like it's fair to give him a grade because he didn't even have a fighting chance at anything this year. I don't even think it's fair. I think that if you grade... All right, I'm going to grade his career. I'm going to give him an A-. minus. My expectations were so high because look what Tyler Reddick did in that eight car. Was lighting the freaking world on fire, running up front every yeah. damn week. Kyle Busch is like a 10 times better driver than Tyler Reddick is and ever will be. So the fact that he could not do better or he, he matched Reddick, matched him. Disappointment, yeah. E minus. I'm giving him a C plus. And the reason I am is because, yes, he won the Daytona 500. Yes, he made the playoffs. Yes, he would have made it in points. But other than that, what is he known for? Recky Spinhouse. This guy didn't wreck all damn year. I'm disappointed. I'm mad. He was irrelevant. <laughs> oh, man. I have two drivers at F minus. This is one of them. Irrelevant. Uh, just disappointment. He's a champion. Uh, don't go snowboarding next year, bud. You suck. All right. L. Soft. Next. I'm going to give him a B-plus just because of his first year. Uh, B-plus for the toddler. Uh, next year, no more booster seat, and I can't wait to see what he does as he enters his early teenage years. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm giving him a D-minus. Garbage. Garbage season for Daniel Suarez. Absolute dumpster. F. He failed. He, he wasn't. He was never relevant. He didn't win a race. His teammate went and won two races this year. I mean, what what is Trackhouse doing? Fire him. Get Hosevar in that seat. I'm giving him a D minus. You might call me a homer there for giving him that good of a grade, but you got to remember he led the points for one week in March. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's make a T-shirt. <laughs> I'm gonna give an F for AJ Allmanjoy. I mean, he 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 tries hard, but he just he's just a non-factor. So F for uh, AJ Butterfinger. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm gonna try my hand here at one-upping Jared, and I'm gonna say that Almarola's season was much like uh, burnt bacon. His career is overcooked. Um, I don't know why he decided to come back for another year of embarrassment. He should have left last year when he was like, mm, I don't know, because nobody cared when he said he was coming back, and nobody cared that he was leaving either. Now we're only, you're getting a D. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with an F. Uh, I mean, Ryan Priest, I, you, guys, you guys have know, I've said it in the past, I'm really high on Ryan Priest. I like him. But the highlight of his season for me was like I was at Talladega and I watched him wreck into wreck into Larson right in front of me at Talladega. <laughs> that was cool. That was the highlight of it. I mean Ryan Priest. I mean like it, you. I mean you can ask anybody. They have nothing. They don't have anything good to say about him, but they don't have anything bad to say about him. Like he's just kind of meh. So, but F grade for. I always for thought Ryan, Ryan Priest kind of had like a punchable face. Like, he looks like somebody that just kind of annoy you. You just kind of, like, want to straighten him out. But he, I don't hate the guy. He sounds like he's super nice. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, see what I'm saying? Not good, but not bad. But Dallas, Dallas just hit it on the nail. <laughs> F is for friends who do not belong in the Cup Series, and I agree with you. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with F. You talk about someone that should be an F Formula Formula E. He can team up with Duffel Brandorm. Who, who is that? Duffel Brandorm. He can he can team up with him. I am giving Chase Briscoe an F. Garbage. You don't make the round of eight, and then absolutely suck so bad that you can't even get in your. He. What the hell is this guy doing, man? I I can't stand this guy. F F F F F all the way around. F. I agree. Everything with the passion, too. I enjoy that passion. The same thing Jay said. Did you really replace Matt DiBenedetto with this guy? Really? Is this where we're at? Terrible. Soft. Wood Brothers, you're a disgrace. I have two F minuses. This is the one. F minus. What a shame. What a shame of an absolute C filler. Nobody wants you. Nobody!
Leave! Retire! Go home! All right, that's all I got. He's got a pretty nice looking wife. <laughs> it can't be that bad going home all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's just...